Hey guys, welcome back inside the Vintage Geeks Toy Room, and today we're taking a look at Dino Riders, continuing the series, and uh, this time we've got, let's take a look at, hmm, 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 which one of these? Let's take a look at the Dino Nikes. yeah, because there's a couple variations of this, so I'll show at the end. I'll, I'll give you good details here on the good guy, Dinonychus. And then I'll show you at the end the variation that you could get, could, could get, could, blah, 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 could get in the bad guy version. Because there were good guy and bad guy versions of a lot of these dinosaurs. So here's the Dinonychus doing a quick 360, the good guy version of the Dinonychus. Pretty cool, pretty simple. I mean, as far as I know, he just came with a chair. The bad guy one would have a chair, guns, and a brain box, of course, because every bad guy had a brain box. Because the good guys used telepathy to tell the dinosaurs that they were not harmful or evil in any way, and the dinosaurs would then telepathically tell the humans that they agree to work with them. So there was no issues there. We got this really cool paint job, nice teeth, the eyeball looks great. It's like they used almost like they used glass eyes on these. It's pretty cool. Nice looking chair with weapons. The unfortunate thing is the hardest to find piece is the harness strap. It looks like every I, I only was able to find one or two in my probably six months of searching on eBay and various other auction sites, Goodwill various other places and you cannot find them so I used a rubber band instead because that's basically all it was I like how this guy has these cool claws on his feet this is way before Jurassic Park and we knew about, about velociraptors in the claws the tail has great detail striping on there the arms move the legs move there's a button here on the on the tail you kind of got to get it right and then you can run I am running. We're going to run into battle. <laughs> we're running, we're running, we're running into battle. We're going to claw you up while we're at it. <laughs> yep, yep. You can have hours of fun with this guy, and then you can, like, not stand them up when you're done playing because these Dinonychus are very hard to stand. They always get, I'm, you're lucky if you get one that stands up. So that's kind of the the bad thing. <laughs> Their feet get all wonky. Hi there. <laughs> Let's take a look at the guy. He's pretty cool. The good guy. Yeah, like I said, the good guys use telepathy. To, they can't get out of their chairs, but they use telepathy. There's nice seat detail. Look at that thing. The little strap is intact. The red tips on the lasers are all here. The lasers are all there. It's really difficult to find a complete chair like that with the lasers and the red tips and everything intact and no broken straps and whatnot. The figure looks pretty good. The detailing's pretty nice. He's got the typical, his arm moves, his head moves. He's got the bendable knees. And the legs that move, you know, that's, you know, they're nice little figures for what they were. Two and a half inches tall or so. He's got that cool detailing on there. The red mark that the, all the good guys seem to have. And, yeah, he can just kind of, like, sit in his chair. Mm -hmm. Go onto the little strappy do and sit in his chair. Boop, boop. How you doing, guys? I'm on a Dinonychus. So yeah, like I said, the good guys used telepathy. They told the dinosaurs they weren't evil. Where the bad guys, here comes the bad guy, he would have to use a brain box, but I don't have a brain box, so you can't see it. The brain box is hard to find. Um, I did see one on eBay, but it was like $30 just for the brain box. So of course I didn't buy it. Most of these weapons and parts and gear that you see on these guys, I got in lots. So I would get, you know, one gun, one red tip uh, the, for Dinonychus, so a tail gun for the, the other dude, you know, and it mix and match. And I eventually got enough to make most of these fairly complete, not totally complete, but mostly complete. Enough to where I felt comfortable showing them off, you know. 
But the bad guy one here, you can see, he comes with a shark dude. Um, yeah, he's got a little bazooka there. They, some of them had, they had these little weapons that just clipped onto their arms. And uh, they're kind of difficult to find all the weapons. Each set came with a peg, like plate kind of thing that had 10 or 12 different weapons in it. And various, you know, equipment and such. Red for the bad guys. Uh, silver for the good guys. He has all the typical movements and we'll put him back in his chair. So yeah, the the good guys were typically silver on the equipment that was on the dinosaurs, where the bad guys were typically this tannish yellow gold, whatever you want to call it. But sometimes um, the weapons are a little bit silverish. Again, I couldn't find the strap to hold them on, so I used a rubber band. It works just as good, you know. Heck, people might not have noticed if I didn't point it out. So there's a bad guy and a good guy, Deinonychus. So you can kind of get an idea of how they were. The good guys were always a little bit more streamlined. And, you know, it's kind of like the uh, like the stuff that we would use on Naboo. You know, the chrome streamline <laughs> kind of thing. Where the bad guys had harder edges on stuff. All right, guys, thanks a lot. If you like old toys, this is the channel for you. If you like anything from vintage to retro, from the 60s, 70s, 80s, on up to modern figures, things that came out just last week, then this is the channel for you. Because I like all that stuff too. And I like doing videos on all that stuff. So, yeah. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> you won't regret it. All right, guys, thanks a lot for tuning in and checking out this Dino Riders with me. I'm John, the Vintage Geek, and I'm out of here. Have a great weekend.